So those T sub J's, those treatment offsets that we form in our sample model are the best guess we have of the true treatment offsets, the true toss sub J's. And those T sub J's, just like a sample mean, are an unbiased estimator of the true treatment effects in the population. So in our sample, even though we got some differences, the T sub 1, 2, and 3's were all different from zero, we're going to be using those differences as a guess of the true toss sub J's. And so just like we've developed before, we'll have an inferential method in which we establish a null and alternative hypothesis. In our case, the inference we'll make about a treatment effect will state in HO that in the population, the cost of flying is the same for these airlines. That's just like saying those toss of J's are all the same. There really isn't a difference between the different groups. The alternative hypothesis states that in the population, the cost of flying is not the same for these airlines. So a way that we can represent these formally with our symbols is for HO, all those toss of J's in the population are exactly zero. Notice that if that null hypothesis is true, then the grouping variable we used, our airlines, doesn't actually get used in the population to form an individual score. The alternative hypothesis, if that is true, simply states that not all the toss of J's are equal to zero that the factor actually is used in the population to determine how much a person is paying for a flight. Notice that the alternative hypothesis is not making a specific claim. It isn't saying that one particular group is higher than another. We're simply trying to determine whether the factor of airline is something used in the population model. In the next module, we'll learn two different ways to make statistical inferences with these linear models. They'll be first through the analysis of variance approach and second, through the general linear test approach, which is more formally a model comparison approach. Both of these methods will return the exact same p-values and are really the exact same test, but we'll go through the analysis of variance approach first because it helps us understand how these models are actually used to make inferences. The general linear test approach is a little bit more general and will work for any type of linear model that fits some certain criteria. We'll talk about each of these different inferential tests in the next module.